Hey Star Wars fans, welcome to another Black Series figure review. We've got Baze Malbus, the second to last one that I need to complete this new sort of Rogue One update line. Uh, yeah, really, really chuffed with this one. Really did like the original, but this one, uh, new paint apps on the face, looks fantastic. I don't know whether there's going to be any other um, extra applications on this one or whether there's any changes. I don't believe so. I haven't watched many reviews myself um, of these Rogue One figures. I've sort of just they sort of just sort of flown under the radar a little bit uh, for my my collecting. I've sort of just been picking them up as I can get them. Um, Chirrut is the last one I need to get, so hopefully I'll be able to crack him in the next couple of weeks um, just to complete this complete the set. Um, so yeah, on the back, here's number five, Baze Malbus. The harsh reality of his Imperial-occupied homeworld has hardened Baze Malbus into a pragmatic soldier and a crack shot with his heavy repeater cannon. So yeah, really, really cool looking, looking artwork on the side. Awesome looking figure. Really did like his character a lot. Uh, yeah, I remember the original figure sort of main issue was his big sort of backpack thing made him a little bit back heavy so we'll see how this one goes um because yeah no 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 other sort of sculpting updates that i can see so let's crack it open and have a look at base all right here is base malvis out of the box and he does sort of fall, fall for that top heavy um, stuff again and just by setting this guy up again for you know the first time in a long time I found it's actually his ankle joints that are the kind of the issue there um, they just they just the way they're sort of sculpted in they really don't allow um, the feet to sort of push up a little bit just so you can forward lean a little bit more and create that sort of counterbalance um, he is at the moment just because I've got him sort of leaning forward um, which, you know, it's it's pos it's doable to make him stand. Um, but yeah, he's still definitely one of the uh, more difficult figures to uh, keep standing. And uh, I'll be damned, this thing here is uh, a lot lighter than I remember the original being. Um, you know, it's still a, quite a heft of plastic, but I don't know. I just, I feel like this is a lot lighter now. So, um if that is the case, I could be mistaken, but if that is the case, kudos to uh, Hasbro for, for looking into that and uh, you know making that adjustment. It's really, really important. Um, so yeah, he's got his, his rifle here, which of course will connect up to that thing. <laughs> and he also has this little little implement which oh, I know I, I, I forgot this was part of the figure and uh, I found mine at some point from my old base and I did not know what it was for the life of me it would just it had come off the shelf uh, during moving and uh, yeah I had no idea what it was so uh, it ended up in the accessories box somewhere hoping that I would one day work it out and uh, now I have and now I don't need to worry about it because I've got the updated version. So yeah, that will plug in like so. But it should. Look at the right way. It looks like it. Soft, malleable plastic. It wants to go in, just doesn't want to stay there. That's all right. I probably glued the original one in too. Yeah, if we can get a little bit of focus back on Baze as opposed to my hands, that would be great. So yeah, a, a great looking update. We'll get a close up of his face so you can sort of see how accurate that has become. So yeah, much, much better likeness. Still got a little bit of that gloss, gloss shine, but if you have him running around on the beach, getting sweaty, it makes sense, but I do like the sort of weathering and the wash over the over the jumpsuit. Yeah, just need to need a little bit of work on those feet, I think. 
otherwise. I'm really happy with this one. Nice update. Glad this one finally come in. Big thanks to Bulletproof Villain for this one. Yeah, big fan of Bays. I'm looking forward to getting Chirrut. Hopefully I can, yeah, like I said, hopefully I can order him very soon. Just to round out the crew. So yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the formerly senior member of the uh, Guardians of the Wheels. Really cool stuff. I just, yeah, love all the sort of accessories, the backpack, and yeah, he looks awesome. Big fan. Just playing with the figure here makes me want to watch Rogue One again, which I may exact may do tomorrow is my day off, so I may ind indeed do that. I'm just having some probably trouble getting him to stand at the moment, so we'll, we'll leave it at that where I can hold him nice and straight for the camera. And uh, yeah, I'll be back with some more videos very, very soon. I'm about to record a, another Marvel Legends video, and I've got a bunch of those to record, so stay tuned if you're into the Marvel Legends as well. Um, I'll try and squeeze Star Wars in as much as I can. But yeah, it's nice to have a different toy line just to just to fill the void in between figures coming and, and stuff like that. So thank you all so much for watching. May the force be with you. We'll see you on the next video.